Hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome to this DIY video about uh, soldering LED strips. Um, first of all, I hope everyone's doing fine. I hear countries going back into lockdown. Um, we're also having a curfew here. Things are closing up again. Uh, rules are getting more strict. Um, that's of course not a good thing, but I just hope everyone's doing fine. And uh, yeah, if you don't know what to do at home, maybe you can start on some soldering. So yeah, here we go. So for the people that are new to the channel, um, I'm actually a starting artist in Barcelona. This is one of the pieces um, that I made. It's the Cyramid. Um, I will only make a handful of them to sell uh, later on on my website. And uh, I also do epoxy paintings. This is one I'm still working on. This one is getting close to finish. But yeah, that's not what this video is about. The video is about this, all of this. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff here, a whole bunch of different LED strips. Will I? I'll probably make a different video just on different LED strips and their uses. So yeah, if it comes to tools for soldering LED strips, you actually don't need that much, as you can see here in this shot. Um, there's even one tool here that you don't really need, which is these. Um, this is a gas-powered soldering gun. It's it's an amazing tool, but it's actually more used to solder in hard-to-reach places like in a car or something. Um, plus, the temperature is hard to control. Um, for me, I just use this very simple 30-watt, very cheap thing. It cost me, I think, 9 euros. Um, the most important thing is just having a soldering gun that gets up to a good temperature with a very small tip. And so these are the exact wires that I use most of the times, just the simple RGB 0.25 millimeters. And this is this is an amazing tool. Um, you'll see it later in the video. Uh, this is actually made in Belgium, very funny, the country where I'm from. Um, it's used to strip your wires. This, this, is, this thing is just amazing. It, it saves a lot of time for somebody who has to do a lot of uh, soldering on these wires. So uh, yeah, I can really advise buying one. And then these are my two uh, my two cutters, my two pliers, if I say this correctly, um, both from Milwaukee. Just amazing. They they cut like a knife through butter. Very very good ones. Um, and actually, one of the most important things is um, so when soldering, I use I use this actually. It's it's a uh, one millimeter. It's it's not from this brand. I just use this reel to uh, to roll up a little bit because holding a big one like this is very it's very heavy and annoying to work with so just another small tip for you guys but probably the most important tip the grease i mean many people um actually don't really know what it's for or they they kind of use it wrong it's it's actually just used to put the tip of your soldering gun in to be able to um displace yeah it's it's not on don't worry guys to displace the heat across your tip better to be able just to heat it up faster and to heat it up better um, it's not you don't have to put your wire in and, and then go solder and, and no that's not good it actually even makes a worse connection having too much grease um, in your uh, soldering and so before we actually really get started into the working and uh, stripping and uh, soldering of LED strips um, these are just two advices I can really give you so when your soldering gun is warm, again, it's not on, don't worry guys, um, you, you do have to clean your tip, you know, it, it gets black, it, it, all kinds of dirt, maybe some, some isolation that you accidentally touched or something. Um, the way that I clean it when it's fully warmed, I just, I use this moist, uh, just ki kitchen paper. Um, I see many people using sponges and, and like really abrasive stuff like, like sanding paper. That's a no-no. That's not good for your soldering gun. You're going to ruin your tip very fast. And also, these are muy, muy importante. So you really need these, uh, I think heat shrink tubing uh, is the correct word. Um, I, I just bought an assortment in many diameters because yeah, I still kind of need to figure out uh, which diameters I need the most. But those are very, very important to make nice connections, to make them look beautiful, and also to make them safe. So yeah, let's get into the work now. So yeah, first things first, which is some preparation work. Um, as you see, uh, there are a few marks here. Uh, that's just for me to be able to quickly uh, just put the strip to the size that I need and just cut them, next one cut cut and so on um, so as stated before 
you can clearly see uh, the lines where you can cut them. Now, in many strips, you will also find, look, let me just take a look here, yeah. You will also find the soldering points. Um, some people have the opinion you can only cut them there and solder there. That's not the case. Um, you can basically anywhere uh, where you have these exposed copper strips, you can cut them, um, put some soldering material on them, and then just put them together. So, yeah, this is how I do it. It's quite easy. As you can see, just nice and straight, try to really get them in the middle um, so that you have the same distances. Um, and so one thing with these strips, so these have a waterproof coating on them and I just gently, very gently peel it off a little bit to expose the copper strip. Then just cut it off. Voila, perfect. So now these can be soldered on. So now we have uh, a few strips prepared. As you can see, uh, the coating removed um, from the, the tips uh, to be able to get the soldering material on them very easy. And then your next step to take is uh, preparing your wire. So again, RGB wire. I use ones with a black ground instead of a white one because I just think it's much more nice um, and again yeah same thing so I use one of these um, as a measuring tool you know to every time get the same size and as you can see it's quite small wires that I need um, for this project uh, so yeah, let me just see well, every time just la uh, number one number two number three and so on um, so yeah that goes quite easy but for me my most favorite tool in this whole video is going to be this one uh, it's a stripping tool from Creator uh, it's really good works very handy here you can clearly see the way it works it has a stop on it that you can just quickly change um, the distance and this is to uh, regulate the tension um, of, uh, of the device and just yeah I, I don't use the stop I am um, I tend to always strip a little bit more than needed because you always have these with these small wires it's just incredibly dif difficult uh, to get the right tension every single time so I put my soldering on and then I just cut a little bit off to make things a little bit easier I actually uh, take all these little wires apart um, because just with with this small distance you're just gonna have one whole lump of uh, soldering material so I take all of these apart this will also make it a little bit easier in the future um, to solder them onto the strips and just a little piece of advice so this is how I do it with my wires I just use a piece of tape um, I do one side of the wires and I flip it around stick it again to the bench and then do the other side and usually I first do my wires and then I do the tips of the strips um, because you really don't want to be uh, hanging too long with your soldering gun on your strips uh, because you can easily damage uh, an LED or just even the tips can come loose. Um, I mean these things are quite sensitive. Take your time, be patient and it, it can happen that something uh, doesn't work sometimes. So let's turn this one on and that's how I do it. I turn it on, I put it in the grease because the grease is only used to um, easily disperse the heat uh, across your soldering tip. That's literally the only use it has. And be sure to have a wet paper towel ready. Okay, let's get started. Okay guys, so the soldering gun is nice and warm as you can see immediately upon touching the soldering material, the tin itself. Uh, melts. Now I do have to add, you saw the smoke, make sure you do this in a well ventilated place, uh, wear a respirator if you need to, um, but yeah, let's get into it. So for the wires, I try to do it always as fast as I can, try to just to do a little touch up, you know, just like that is already more than perfect. Um, don't get big lumps on it, uh, you really just need to touch it very quickly. Uh, these are already pre-tinned, we're also going to put uh, soldering material. Uh, on the strips so let me show you the way I do it I also try to do it as fast as I can I put my tip on the outside of the strip and some soldering material inwards 
So yeah, that's just absolutely perfect. Oh, yep. Well, uh, there you go, guys. It's not that difficult. So here now you see the finished product of our preparation work so far. Um, so yeah, the reason why I didn't trim off these uh, edges of the, the tips is just because yeah, after you put soldering material on them, they're just uh, much easier to trim off. Uh, also, you won't be pulling out anymore. Um, so yeah, this just guarantees again a better connection and a better finish. So the strips are looking good, the wires are looking good. Um, I always put them like this, I've put, I put them to color code and I just hold them in place with one like these. Um, so yeah, black is for the ground, uh, blue is for the backup, green is data and red is the positive. Um, these are WS2815 LED strips uh, and that's why there are four cables. You have strips with two, with three. Um, again, that's something for a different video. And before I'll get into the soldering, I'm just gonna prepare this connector um, to put on the beginning of the strip. And yeah, then we'll get into really um, making them work. The last step for preparation is, um, so I, I mentioned these before. Um, I just cut little pieces and I put them on the tips where I put uh, soldering every time. Uh, so yeah, all of our preparation work has been done. Um, as you can see, I've also prepared a connector to put on the beginning of the strip. Um, but yeah, that doesn't really matter for now. Uh, the thing is just, so let me show you guys how I get this done. Uh, yeah, of course, I always put some weights uh, on the strips when I'm soldering. Uh, and just, yeah, slowly, steady. There you go. That's number one. That's number two in place. And last but not least, the positive. All right, nice. So yeah, this is how the strip looks now. Um, everything is soldered together nicely. Um, I didn't heat up the the shrinking foil. I mean, I mean these things here, um, because yeah, first I perform a test and then after I heat these up, um, because you never know if you did something wrong if there's a bad connection, um, then you can always still go back very easy. Um, and again, yeah, don't forget of course to turn off your soldering gun to clean your tip. Um, and yeah, first I'll perform a test and show you guys if it works or not. As you can see here, the strip is just working perfect. Um, so which means the last step is just uh, heating up those heat shrinking tubes. So yeah, this is our last step to take. It is just uh, simply applying heat to these shrinking tubes. It's again a step you need to do like bit by bit. Uh, try not to melt anything, try not to damage anything, uh, just taking your time. I, I use a simple lighter with a very, very small flame and I just pass by several times, uh, strip up and down, just like that, perfect. Yeah, it's looking very nice. And then as a last touch up, so you have normally practically every LED strip has 
um, tape on its back. So I just I remove this a little bit. And this this is really like one of those little details that makes a difference. And I just press this a little bit, and it's nice and sticky, ready to mount. Uh, so yeah, I'll just continue on with the rest of the strip. Yeah, and just like that we have a fully functioning strip that we have cut up and actually just put back together. Um, this means once you can get the hang of this, you can really um, make them cut to size, fit into anything that you can imagine. Um, of course, this is just simple, this is just everything in series. Uh, once you get into more complicated wiring diagrams, things get a little bit more difficult. Um, but yeah, this is just nice and clean, perfect to mount. Uh, you don't even see the connections, you still see the wires, which is something I like. Um, yeah, this turned out really good, guys. This turned out really good. So yeah, guys, that was it for this video. Um, I hope everybody picked up something from it, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, don't forget to leave a like or a comment, and don't forget to subscribe, because there's much more coming in the future. And um, yeah, I hope everyone is uh, taking care of himself and staying safe as well. And um, yeah, until next time, guys. Bye.